Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Showrunner, a game where we get to make TV shows in our very own TV studio. So we come up with an idea for a TV show, we hire some writers, we pick the cast, we do the recording, we edit the final cut, and then we get to see if we've made a wonderful TV hit or an absolute TV disaster. And we get to build up the TV studio as well, we can buy new items like comfy chairs and pool tables and lots of other lovely decorative things, we can add new rooms so we can do things a bit better, all that kind of stuff. It looks like a lot of fun and I thought we should go and have a little look. It's not out quite yet. Steam says it's due to be released into early access in mid-January and of course if you're interested there is a link to the Steam store page in the video description below but we did get our hands on this a little bit early thanks to a key from the devs which is very kind so a huge big thank you to them. But anyway let's get on with it shall we? We've got TV shows to make. Okay so the first thing we have to do is name our studio and create a little logo type thing. So we're going to go for TGC TV Studios, I quite like that. And then the logo, I've picked this sort of background here because it's got a bit of Geek of a Corporate Blue on it. And then the icon thing on the front, I've picked whatever this is. I mean, there are some more appropriate things. It's like a sort of a camera type thing and some film reel and whatever that is and an eye and a kind of light bulby thing. There are various other things that sort of feel a bit more suited toward a TV studio like that. Yeah, a bit of sort of a frame of film or whatever. But I've gone for this. I'm not really sure what it is. It looks a little bit like a kind of a play button, but with googly eyes and a face. And I quite like that. So there we go. We'll go for that setup, please. So TGC TV Studios is about to start operations. And here we go. Create a show. Okay, so we're just dumped straight into it. Crikey's okay. So what can we do? Sci-fi, fantasy, western, political, medical, crime, superhero, post-apocalyptic, office. Oh, hang on. Some of these are greyed out. Oh, hang on. We can't pick crime. Ah, right, I see. So it's quite hard to see. But yeah, sci-fi fantasy we've got, medical we've got, office we've got, espionage we've got, family, historical and modern we have. Okay, and then we can pick, can we pick all of these? Yeah, okay. So what should we go for? What shall we go for? I like the way that office is one particular theme. Let's go for, um, let's go for a medical drama. Let's go for an exciting medical drama. So stat importance, there's a bit of plot requirement. Characters are very important. Visuals, not so much. Comedy, no, we're not going for comedy with this one. Drama, yeah, all the drama. Dial that up to 11. Action, not much of that. Okay, so a medical drama. I like the sound of that. Okay, so, oh, hang on, create the show. We don't want it to be called First Mine. Um, do you know what? Let's call it, let's call it Project Hospital <laughs> because we're playing that on the channel right now. So we'll call it Project Hospital because, you know, medical drama and such. Okay, so let's create that. Select contract. Okay, so DH, digital hegemony. I would like to offer you the following contract for your show. Depending on the success of your show, we may renegotiate a new contract for additional seasons after this contract ends. Oh, there's different people. Ah, okay, right, I see. <gasps> It might have to be Goose, because their icon thing is a rainbow goose. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on. Do they pay the most? Do you know what? I might just base it on the little icon thing. The rainbow goose is amazing. Okay, so hang on. So we get paid, with these people, we get paid a thousand money. I assume that is a thousand lovely monies for just the season happening. Whereas that's 750, that's 1250. That's 1250 and that's 750. But it looks like the numbers below are a bit better. So hang on. So season payment, episode payment. We get 150 per episode from a few of them. 125. 175 per episode from the wonderful multicolor goose people. Um, bonus payment for every quarter of a million viewers. We get 15 money. That's half a million viewers. 25. Quarter of a million. 20. Quarter of a million. 15. For every 1 million. 40. Okay. Goose is quite hard to meet the requirements of. They seem to pay a bit less. Uh, reviews, yeah, we get paid for reviews as well. And for every two star and above average review, we get paid some money. Okay, I don't think the Goose people are the best ones, unfortunately. As good as their lovely kind of um, lovely logo thing is, I think everyone wants us to make one season of 10 episodes. That's okay, so we can cope with that. That's not so bad. Okay, so hang on a minute. That's okay. That's okay. We get paid significantly less for the season though. They pay us way more for the season, but we get paid less per episode. So if we're gonna make, hang on, if we're gonna make 10 episodes, that's that's quite a lot of money. So we want to make sure who gives us the most per episode. No, it is, it's the Goose People. 
let's go for the goose people. Here we go. We're going to go for multicolored angry goose people. Yes, please. Can we sign a contract with the multicolored angry goose? Thank you very much. Welcome to Showrunner. Thank you very much. Thank you for checking out this early access bonus Showrunner. Okay, so now we need to start making some episodes. Uh, we need to hire some staff. We'll need at least one writer to create scripts for the show before any other production can take place. Okay, so we have to go down here and find ourselves a writer. Okay, that's fine. We can muddle through with that. That's okay. So let's go down to staff, go to writers. Okay, open for hire. Ah, staff search, right. Okay, so go down to here, level one search. I imagine we can unlock better people as time goes by. Um, okay, it's going to cost us 20 money to do this. We have 750 money right now. So uh, yeah, let's begin a level one search of people. So who can we find to write Project Hospital? Um, we've got Matthew Johnson, a writer, mainstay. Writers of this class tend to have the following strengths and weaknesses. Okay, so imagination is weak, dialogue is weak, dynamics are average, work rate is very strong, and you've got a fiery personality. Okay, so there are different kind of mentalities of how they work, and then their personality as well. It's not just, you know, a, a name with a face that can do a job. They kind of interact with everybody else. Okay, so D, D, D plus E. Um, oh, okay, right. You've got a few more E's there. Oh, you're significantly worse. Elena Wright isn't any better. You're really quite bad. Um, you're sort of not so bad. And you're, I mean, you've got the best name in the world. You're called Crabulous Lopez. That's wonderful. But you're not that good at the actual stuff we want you to do. Although well, you are an architect. Your imagination is very strong. Um, oh, hang on. What's that book thing? A raconteur. Okay, dynamics are strong. Right, hang on. I think we go back to the first person. Let's get Matthew Johnson on board because he seems to have better kind of overall stats with these things. So, yeah. Okay, so we'll hire you. You want 13 in wages and you have a fame of 1,080. I don't know if that's good or bad, but okay, we shall hire you to do that job. Right. Can you please do some writing? That'd be great, Mr. Johnson, if you could do so. Okay, characters. Before you create your first episode, your show will need some characters. Go to the character screen, then press the create button. Okay, so you can choose whether the character's main or support character and give them a name. Oh my goodness me. Importantly, you also need to decide what character archetype fits, which defines the general initial traits of the character. Oh yes. Okay, so we build a character ourselves. Doesn't the writer do that? I would have thought the writer would do that. Okay, so we get to design a character and then we create and cast and then we have to find a person to make, you know, to sort of fit the role of that character that we've just designed. Okay, that's wonderful. Okay, right, characters. So let's create our first character. Um, we want them to be, uh, how about a genius? How about a main character in Project Hospital who's a genius? And they've turned up to this, ho this hospital that's a complete mess. And they're going, oh my goodness me, who's running this? Administrator Penge. Okay, no, we need to sort this out. Maybe that's what we could do. So we can't drag those. We have to find somebody who's quirky and diligent and logical, but a bit disagreeable. So because they're a genius, they're immediately disagreeable. I mean, okay, we're making we're making house here, but okay. Uh, and let's call you... Um, oh, hang on, I've got, I've got the best idea. I've got the best idea. Hang on, hang on, not that. No, no, we're going to go for Betty Cupboard. Why would we not have anybody else? I mean, she's kind of more of a hero, I would say. But in this one, she can be a genius. Yes, please. So it's going to cost us 100 of whatever they are. Persona points. Okay. They're earned every time you complete an episode of your show. Right. Okay. Ah, and the amount earned can be affected by staff skills, character perks, and room items. Okay. Persona points are spent when you create a new character for your show or upgrade a character from support to main. Okay. So if we... Hang on. It's time, time's ticking on. Uh, okay, hang on, is spacebar pause? Oh, okay, I can very happily confirm that spacebar is pause, hooray! Okay, I didn't realize time was ticking on. How much time has passed by? Okay, right, hang on. Now let's create Betty Cupboard. Does that put a space on the end of Betty's name? Yes, it has. Um, and we shall create and cast Betty. Okay, so again, a level one search, spending some money. Um, okay, who do we have then? So, Eleanor Jimenez, how are we supposed to... Ah, okay. So, casting rating 48%. So, I imagine these bar things here are where she is. I imagine that's where her particular things are, somewhere within this range, this kind of uh, sort of shaded area. So, she'd meet quirky and diligent, but she's also 
extroverted, personal, lawful, and possibly a bit too emotional. Okay, how do we... That's 48%. 67%, although you're not as quirky and diligent as we would like, but you're very disagreeable, and you're an introvert, and you're logical, and you're going toward lawful. You've got a chaotic... You've got like a sort of a, a alignment system going on there, chaotic and lawful. Okay, who else do we have? Uh, Luther Green is 57%. You are 67%. Oh, it's got to be you. It's got to be you, Graham Mendoza. Okay, yeah, we can get you in as Betty Cupboard. That's absolutely fine. That's good. Um, so yeah, logical, yes. Chaotic down the middle. You're not quite as disagreeable or introverted as we'd like, but you are quirky and diligent. Yeah, let's get you, please. Um, you're an orator. Okay, so you are very good at charisma and your personality is down to earth. Okay, that's fine. Right, so if we cast you then, so let's cast you to do that. Oh, there, this is very exciting. We get to pick what you look like. Okay, so now we can pick hair, face items. Um, I mean, a mask would make sense. You're kind of, you know, in a hospital and such. Uh, have we got anything that looks hospitally? Have we got any kind of scrubs or whatever? Uh, sort of hospital-ish. Uh, ah, there, there we go. Perfect. Can't have anything. Your left hand, legs. Can we get sort of white? Oh, hang on. That might, hang on, no, back. That might work out okay. That kind of looks like scrubs, doesn't it? Shoes, can we just have some like, uh, yeah, plain, I mean, white shoes would be bad, I suppose. Like that, look, there we go. Um, can't have anything in your hands. Back item. Oh, you can pick capes. Oh, this is, this is brilliant. Okay. <gasps> hat. Okay, every single character we have has to wear a hat. Okay. <laughs> I'm tempted to pick that just because it's completely obscure. Um, that's a good hat. That's a good hat. That's a nice hat. That's an okay hat. Oh, there's there's not as much of a rate. Oh, hang on. That's quite exciting, though. There's not as much of a range of hats as I was hoping. But do you know what? Have that hat and you can have no facial hair. But yeah, there you go. What are the other facial face items? A kind of mask and some masks. Okay, do you know what? Go without... Hang on. What's What's face item one? I can't see what face... Hang on. Drop the hat back down to nothing because I can't see. What's face item one? I can't even see what that is. Hang on. Is the hair getting in the way or something? Um, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Is it like an earring or something? It might be an earring. Uh, okay. No, don't have that then. But yeah, we will have... Let's have that hat like that. That's quite fun. Um, okay. And then hair doesn't really matter because it's underneath the hat. So we'll pick hair 15. If they take the hat off, it can be a wonderful surprise. Okay, yeah, that'll do. I like that. So Betty Cupboard is ready to go in a wonderful hat. Yes, confirm. Now you're ready to create the first episode of your show. Press the create episode button to get started. Okay, this makes perfect sense. First, we're presented with the available writers. We have to select at least one. Uh, you can have up to three writers working on a single script at once. Okay, it'll generally lead to better scores. That would make sense. When you selected your writing team, press the confirm button. I kind of feel like we should go and hire another writer. Can we do that? Are we allowed? It's going to take three days. We've exhausted the pool of writers. Okay, do you know what? We'll just kind of do this for now. So let's add Matthew Johnson onto our writing team. Okay, so Matthew, please write some wonderful episodes of Project Hospital. Um, oh, oh, okay, hang on. Hang on. It doesn't tell us about this. Now we have to pick a theme. <gasps> this is very exciting. Okay, I like this. This is this is very good. Okay, redemption. If the character score of a script exceeds 10, then add five plot points. Okay, I don't know what any of this means, but okay. You can unlock one theme each before episodes one, two, three, and five in the season. Okay. So do we go for redemption? Do we go for a bit of revenge? A bit of loss? A bit of family? Okay, every card with the character points played has a 33% chance to increase show popularity by one. That could be quite handy. That might make the show more popular. Um, every card played adds one extra character point. Let's go for family. Oh, hang on, there's more. Oh my goodness me, there's more. Conspiracy. Uh, script gains bonus plot points. For each two episodes, this theme is active. Bonus increases by one. Let's have Project Hospital. Let's have a conspiracy. And some people are a bit concerned about who is running the hospital. And some people think it's, you know, just a regular person. But some people, some conspiracies, believe that the person running the Project Hospital Hospital is some sort of magical being who looks at everybody from up on high, up in the sky. And they can move things around as their will. Let's go for that. I like that. We're going to go for a conspiracy in Project Hospital. This is very exciting. 
Oh, okay, right. Now we have to... Uh, okay, right, we're writing something. Hang on a second. Script outline. Here you have up to five script slots, which you can place a scene card in to map out the script outline. Place an available card by selecting it on the scene card sidebar. Okay. Don't know what that means. Okay. And the script score will increase based on the cards played in the script slot. Each card costs time to play, so you might not be able to fill all the slots this time round. When you're set, press the confirm button. I'm just going to press slot one. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's these here. It's these things over here. Okay, so new arrival travel sequence. Oh my goodness me. The melee. Okay, do you know what? New arrival. Maybe the person can arrive. So Betty Cover can turn up. So plot goes up, characters, drama goes up. Oh, I see. Right, I see. It's got different things. Um, let's have a group discussion, because this was important, wasn't it, for characters. Characters and drama were important. So let's get group discussion, characters and drama. Um, we'll have making a deal, because that's got characters and drama in. Oh, and they're taking up time. There's a little time thing. So we've got... We've got four time things left. What's that do? What does that do? Tokens. Your current stock of script tokens. There's quite a lot going on. Why is... What's East Wine? What does that mean? Eternal Passion, Red Fortress, White Fire, Crimson Scarecrow, Bright Assemble, No Leader, Your Siege. Why... Why... Is this the name of the episode? Is that the name of the episode? Let's call it Silent Morning. That'll do. Um, yes, we could... We've got four time bits left. Yeah, what are they? Script tokens. They can be set up for payoffs later on. Um, I don't know how we deploy those. Maybe we can't do that quite yet. Right, so the script score is down here. So, yeah, we've got plot is the green. Hang on, characters is the blue. Then we've got visuals is that one. Is it? Yeah, visuals is that thing. Comedy is that sort of banana skin. Funny. Um, the, what's that? Drama is the little kind of theatre type thing. And then action is that. So, okay, we're looking okay so far because those two are important. That's what we want. Um, okay. I mean, maybe tense meeting. Hang on, tense meeting and friendly chat. So that gets us a bit of plot, but three drama. Friendly chat is all about the characters. And that's kind of important. So, okay, we'll have... So the person arrives. They have a bit of a group discussion. Then a deal is made. And then there's a tense meeting possibly going on from that, and then a friendly chat afterwards, because the tense meeting worked out okay. We used up all of our time things. Okay, right, confirm that. Right, now we need to pick the characters. Okay, so main characters, we will assign Betty Cupboard, played by whatever his name was, to do that job. We haven't got any support people. We haven't got any support people. I kind of feel like there should be another person in this. Um... I mean, can we... I bet we can't go and get somebody else, though. I bet there's a cooldown. Do you know what? This is fun. We'll just do this for now. So, complete that. Okay. Good luck. You've got your first episode underway. To complete it, you'll want to hire a director and crew for the filming phase and an editor for the editing phase. Okay, so we need a director, some crew, and an editor. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, staff search those. The show overview screen will show you a list of each episode of the show. Click on any of these for more details on a particular one. You can now check out finance. Yeah, that's going to plummet terribly, I imagine, as we bumble around. And research screen allows you to unlock more scene cards to use on the script create screen. Okay, right, so is, is time paused? Yeah, spacebar is paused. Wonderful, right. Research. Pick card set. I kind of feel like we should do some research. Um, let's, yeah, drama. We're doing a drama thing. It's going to cost all oh, 50 of our script points. Okay, we can't do too much of that then. Uh, okay, so I think now we want to... Oh, look, our person's over here. Are you the writer? Okay, hang on. Let's have a look around our studio. What's going on around here? Like, can we buy some stuff? Uh, okay, so we've got that. Oh, look at that. We've got the medical drama kind of thing set up. They've got hospital beds. Okay, so there's our little kind of... Uh, there's our set. And there's like a camera with... I don't know what that is, like a, a train track type thing under it, so we can move along. Uh, got a place for people to sit. There's boxes of props, I imagine. Over here we have, I guess that's going to be some sort of editing suite. I guess that's what that is. Uh, oh, yeah, there you go. Basics editor system, editing desk. Oh, you can upgrade it. We can upgrade it. So we can spend 120 money on getting a slightly fancier editing desk. Oh, can we upgrade everything? <gasps> We can upgrade the sofas. Okay, can we buy plants? 
That's the question I have. Studio. Um, oh, okay. Hang on. Writer cap, direct cap. Okay. Um, we need to get up to level two by buying some stuff. But can we buy things for the rooms? That's just the green. Oh my goodness me. We can change. We can change the color of the green room. It's a shame we can't make it red or something. Okay, let's change it to a... Uh, yeah, that's quite a nice shade. And we'll change the floor to be um, like that. That's okay. Oh, there's a person there. Hello, person. <gasps> there's a table of goodies. There's donuts and some sort of triangular type things. And there's some drinks. Okay, right. So we can upgrade... Oh, hang on. There's the staff room. Okay, so hang on. That's... Where's the staff room? Hang on. Have we got a staff room? Um, I'm not entirely sure we have a staff room because it's not, the floor isn't changing, like nothing's changing colour. Uh, I don't quite know where the staff room is. Maybe we haven't unlocked that yet. Editor room, sound stage, hang on, sound stage. That's over there. Okay, so that, we'll change the colour of that to be a sort of a lighter blue possibly. And the floor can be that. Okay, green room we've got. Dressing room, I don't think we have any of those. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I want to buy a plant if we could. Uh, I feel like we need to hire some people. What was it? We've got to hire... Ah, yeah. A crew. Direct. A crew is probably quite important. Let's get a crew person in. Um, technical, teamwork, and work rate. Okay, so can we find somebody who's not got ease and everything? Okay, this is this is wonderful. This is not a good mix of people. Let's go for Lila Robinson. Because Lila has got an E plus in teamwork. So it's not completely hopeless. And a work rate of D plus. Okay, so we'll hire you also yeah work rate is very strong you're a generator okay so we'll hire that but then we can't oh hang on we can hire more people now because we've just done a search okay so we could hire another crew member if we wanted how about then oh, i wanted somebody technical okay for the moment let's just keep lila on board okay so now let's look for editors okay so level one search so they've got pacing, execution, clarity, and work rate. Uh, ooh, okay, you seem quite good. You've got more uh, D ratings in all these things. Okay, we should take you, uh, take you Michael Alvarez. You are an assembler, and you've got a fiery personality. Okay, so we'll get you on board. And then we need a director as well. Let's get one of these in. Uh, Lucas Moore seems pretty good already. You're a coordinator, and you're down to earth. Uh, Michael Wilson, not as good. It's going to be the first person, isn't it? Yeah, because they've got better overall kind of stats. Uh, yep, okay, Lucas Moore, in you come. We shall have you. We can't hire a writer. We can't hire uh, actors because we haven't got the button. That's a shame. I wanted to get another actor in. I wanted to get another actor in, but we're not allowed, which is a bit of a bother. Never mind. Um, oh, hang on. Oh, no, we can. Can we? No. We can get crew in, look. We can hire more crew people. Oh, it's a new search. Okay, right, I see. So, hang on. So if we go to characters and create, can we change the show that we're working on? Hang on a second, hang on. Can we amend this? So they're writing this. I'd like to put another person in. So if we go to, hang on, go to characters and go to create, can we get a support person in? Um, let's call them... Um, I, I don't know. What should we call them? Hang on. Who can be the main... Oh, I know. I know who it can be. It can be Dave Wee Hours. There we go. Dave over at the Wee Hours can be a support person. Um, and they can be the anti-hero. Maybe they could be the anti-hero to go and annoy our genius character. So they can be, yeah, they can be sort of annoying them and in their face and getting, yeah, just a bit irritating. Yeah, okay, we'll go for that. So create and cast that. And then Dave can be the anti-hero to go up against uh, Betty Cupboard. Okay, so level one search. Yes, please. Who can we get? 70% for Alice Clark. 82% for Oscar Watson. It's got it's got to be Oscar. Nothing's going to come close. Hang on. Nicole Torres. Also very good. But her skill's not particularly great. So ease in everything. Whereas who was the other 82% person? Yeah, Oscar Watson's got a D in craft. And the, and the other stuff. So yeah, okay. We'll cast you as well. Um, okay, so our support character is in. Let's go for... I mean, everyone's got to wear a hat. 
you know what? You can go in that look. Yes, you can wear that. Maybe that's the problem. That's the issue. So Betty Cupboard is trying to do all sorts of genius level doctor stuff. And Dave, we hours, is just wandering about the hospital, not really doing his job properly because he's wearing an exciting helmet. I think as well, to make it even more antagonistic, let's make Dave, we hours, not wear anything medical looking at all. How about, what's that? Like some sort of medieval tunic? Um, okay, how about they could go in in some sort of, is there something like a, like a, I don't know, an astronaut suit or something? That looks kind of, that looks potential. I'd like it if they were able to go in like, yeah, like, or a big suit of armour or something. I don't know what that is. I quite like the look of that. Oh, hang on. How about like camouflage? That could be quite fun. They can just go around in camouflage just to, just to irritate Betty. Hang on. There we go. Perfect. And then you can wear, I don't know, any old boots. That'll do. That's fine. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yes, we shall confirm that look for Dave Weow as a perfect look for somebody who works in our, is going to be on a hospital drama. Yes, okay. So can we now put them in? So they've almost finished working on silent, hang on, unpause time. That would help, wouldn't it? So I think they finished working on part one. Okay, so select director. So Lucas Moore, complete that. Select crew, Lila. Okay, so now are they recording this? Yes. Okay. So there's some acting points going into it. Okay, so what's happening here then? So season one, episode one of Project Hospital is called Silent Morning. It's being filmed. Scene one of five. Scene two of five. Okay, so the group discussion. I, I'd, I'd like to watch this. Hang on, how did 10 comedy come out of that? There was no comedy. How um how was a group discussion handled in a scene when there's only one person? Got some visuals in there. I see what's happening. So we're sort of doing all this kind of... um doing the recording, and we're getting points over here. Okay, so if we just move it on a bit quicker. In fact, how quick can it go? Okay, right, that can go very quick. Given that, you know, nothing else is going on around the place, it makes sense to kind of hurry things up a bit. So some plot coming in. I can then select editors. So Michael Alvarez can then go and do some editing of this. So you're down here, so you're making the characters look a bit better. That's really good work on the characters. This is wonderful. Okay, so just, that takes a long time. It looks like the editing takes quite a long time. Okay, do you know what? Speed time on super quick. Look at that, things are totting up. Drama, bit of comedy, no bad thing. Okay, right, pause time for a second. Hang on. So, reception. Average review, one star. Brilliant, yay! Show interest, 106 in kind of a blue background and six on a green background. What does that mean? Show interest is an overall indication of the cultural impact to Burz and general visibility of a show rated from 0 to 1,000. Okay, not brilliant, but it's okay. The rating falls into five tiers. Obscure, 0 to 199. I mean, I guess, I guess it is obscure. It is obscure. Initial viewers, two, two million people watched it. Good grief. 2,120,000 people watched part one of Project Hospital. Okay, that's wonderful. Characters are pretty good. Action good, drama good. Payments got some money for it, which is quite nice because, of course, we're paying people now. Um, okay, maybe then. Okay, so if we continue that, does that finalise the episode? Is that now done? Hang on, so move time on. So now we have to create episode two. I see how this works. Okay, so we did get a bit of money. So is it worth upgrading something? Now, what can we upgrade? The lighting rig? 140 money for upgrading the lighting rig, but we get more, what's that? Episode points generation. I don't know what that means. What does that do? So the Doppler, the soundstage, boom. That gets us some script points. Oh, okay, I see. Um, that's very expensive, upgrading the camera, but of course that's quite an important part of a TV show. I think it also gives us 750, so I don't know what that is, like prestige points toward the studio by the look of it. So, um, do you know what? Let's do that. Let's invest in this now, because that seems like a good thing to have pretty early on. So, okay, we'll get a slightly fancier camera, and the studio level has gone up. Okay, so we've gone to level two. So, writer cap plus one, director cap plus one. That's why we couldn't have more writers. Okay. Right, so now it makes sense to get... Oh, we can do a staff search. Oh, yeah, because loads of time has passed by. Um, so, hang on, writers... Oh, that's going through all the staff. Okay, that's fine. So do a staff search for writers. Another level one search, unfortunately. Let's get another writer in. 
Okay, so you look like the best one. Tristan Scott. Okay, dramatist. You're good at dynamics. You're good at work rate. Okay, that's good. You can cover dynamics because uh, Matthew Johnson, not so good at that. So hire you into that job. So now we've got two writers, which has got to be a good thing. Right, create an episode. Is that the writer's room down here? <gasps> Hang on a minute. We can upgrade. Oh, there's all sorts of bits and bobs we can upgrade around the place. That's very exciting. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, that's the dressing room. Hang on. So right, we can upgrade the e econo table. So we can spend 50 money. It might be worth doing that. If we're going to do some writing, let's get the writers a little bit better. Let's give them Bobby's tables office table. Okay, let's upgrade your table slightly. There we go. We might as well do that because they're going to be you know, using this. Okay, that's fine. We can upgrade the... Oh, no, that, that can't be upgraded. Okay, that's fine. The Lombardi sofa can. Right, let's, uh, let's create another episode then. So let's put two writers onto it. That should be good. So complete that. Um, we went for conspiracy last time, didn't we? So we've got that done. We can't pick these because they're too expensive. We could. We have got a great big pile of script points. Why don't we go for family? Every card with character points played has a 33% chance to increase show popularity by one. Okay, so now we know what that means. So now we know that we want to play cards with character points, and we do want to do that because that's important for the uh, hospital theme. Yeah, let's go for that. So family. Okay. Oh, they're on cooldown. Oh, right. Okay, this, this might be tricky. We're going to, hang on, we're going to press this five times. Whatever random name comes up after five presses is going to be the name of the second episode of the wonderful Project Hospital series. So one, two, three, four, five. Golden right. I don't know what that means, but okay. Um, right. This is unfortunate because we've not got any... We've got one character card. So that's not going to work for the thing we chose. Yeah, the theme isn't going to work. Oh, it's a season thing. Okay, right. Hang on. So we can have acute observation... So characters and a bit of comedy, but characters is important. Um, and then, yeah, then we just need to, fingers crossed that all this works. Uh, we'll establish, hang on, hang on, get rid of that. We'll establish a location first. So look, just some moody shots of the Project Hospital, hospital possibly. Then we'll go for a, um, oh no, hang on. Then we'll go for, what did I have before? What did I have? Where was the thing I had before? Was, oh, no, it was acute observation. There we go. Uh, we've got five time things left. We can only pick one of these. We can only pick one more thing. It's going to be a very short episode is part two. Um, let's go for travel sequence because it does have some plot. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we can't pick anything else. I suspect Golden Wright is going to be a terrible second episode. The difficult second episode. But... Um, yeah, okay, it's fine. Confirm that. Right, and then main character. Um, hang on. And then support characters. Yeah, so main character assign. Support character. There we go. Dave Wee Hours can come in. Wonderful. Okay, so we've got Betty Cupboard, but now there's an antagonist. There's somebody to come in and cause trouble for Betty. So there's two people. Okay, complete that. Unpause time. They need to do some writing. Okay, so are they getting on with it? I assume they are. Yeah, there's one person at the table writing. You've added a massive load of action sequences. That's what we want, though. That's what we want. We want lots of lovely drama, lots of characterization. Okay, so if we just put time on very quickly, just so they get this complete. I like this. This is very silly. Okay, right. The director can direct it. The crew can crew it. Okay, so now we go back over here. But now there's two of them. There's two of them. Oh, and look at that. We hours, uh, Dave We hours is sat on the bed. Maybe that bed's just been you know, freshly made. And that's really annoying Betty Cupboard that Dave is sat on the bed. Okay, this is this is good. Right, so speed through this. And ho look at that. Loads of points are flying in. Loads of things are coming in. Okay, that's looking pretty good. But characters, quite low. Because we didn't have much in those cards. Okay, so you can do some editing. So let's hope that this is okay. So yeah, work on the characters. Can we focus on characters, please? Because that would help quite a bit. And then, yeah, work on the undefined stuff at the end. Just, you know, ad-lib those end bits there. Right, it's almost done. So that's finished. Uh, the review was bad because, yes, we, uh, we, we it was all over the place. We need some more kind of uh, card thingamajigs. 
Okay, right, so the review was bad, uh, less viewers. We did get paid some lovely money. Visuals, comedy and action were higher than previously, but yeah, we don't really care about those. Okay, right, that's fine. So, ah, hang on. Betty Cupboard's leveled up, the studio's leveled up. Okay, staff room level one unlocked, editor cap up, and Betty has leveled up. A new trait is available. Okay, so hang on, Betty's character's leveled up, or Graham Mendoza's leveled up. Hang on, new trait available. Um, oh, there, there's so much go. How many traits are there? Oh my word, there are many, many, many traits. Okay, um, add three drama points to any script when they appear in an episode. Yes. Um, oh no, Betty's not cruel. Betty's a genius. Hang on. Cryptic. Yeah, that would be fit a genius. Add three drama points for any script. Yeah, there you go. You can be cryptic. I like that. Okay, this is kind of like this. This is fun. We're just sort of making daft things as we go along. Um, can we do this yet? Can we res- oh, we could have researched that already. Hang on. Research card. It costs 50 to research a card. I see. Um, okay. So we get that from just completing an episode of the show. So we do need some more cards. So I think let's spend... These are all good for us. These are all wonderful. Oh, this is perfect. Uh, we'll get four of those done. They were all brilliant. Okay, right, good. So now let's do another episode again. You two get writing. We've already got that done. Um, I mean, we could... That's purchased, isn't it? Can we get any others... I don't think we can. We could go for a guilt theme. No, we're okay with the two we've got, I think. We'll stick with those for now. But now I've got all these extra bits and bobs. Okay, this is where it's going to work. So, uh, an argument revisited. Okay, that sounds good. So we can kick off explosively with a huge big argument. Much character, much drama. Um, we're going to press this five times as well. But hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Distant fire. Okay, that sounds good. That sounds exciting. It's probably the hospital on fire, but that's fine. Um, an argument revis uh, revisited. Anxieties laid bare. That's good for characters. A secret revealed. Oh, this is all panning out perfectly. Plot, characters, drama. All drama points in the script are doubled. <gasps> it's got special little doodads with it. Um, we've got only got two time points left, though. Ah, that's a bit of a bother. Hang on, can we remove an argument revisited? So that gives us five, because we could begin with a friendly chat. That'd be okay. That's only one time point. And then we could just pick two with two. I'd rather fill the whole thing up. Right, hang on. So we'll have, uh, what's good? A difficult decision after the secret was revealed. And then over here, we will have, let's have making a deal. Let's have making a deal. So there's a friendly chat to begin with. Nice sort of warm, casual opening scene. But then as this chat goes on, Betty's anxieties are laid bare. Oh no. And then in the conversation, a secret is revealed. Oh, the drama, the drama points in the script are doubled. And then a difficult decision emerges between the characters. Maybe Dave realizes that, yeah, there's something going on here. And does Dave go and tell everybody about this secret or not? And then they come together and you know, make a deal about whether that secret should be revealed to the world or whatever. Yes. I like that. Yeah, okay, we'll confirm that. Main character, assign you. Support, ca support character, assign you. Complete. Okay, get writing Distant Fire. This is going to be a wonderful episode that everybody's going to like. And suddenly Project Hospital is going to be incredibly, incredibly popular around the world. Okay, yeah, we'll get Lucas Moore. Oh, crack, hang on. Time's still going. Hang on. Um, yep, yeah, Lila Robinson can do the, uh, do the crewing. Might need to get another crew member on board. That could help quite a bit. Right, but here we go. As so they're back doing the thing. Oh, yes, there's loads of drama. There's so much drama. It, it is a very dramatic episode, is Distant Fire, full of the drama, but also a bit of comedy. There's, there's loads of drama points coming through. Um, okay, editor, you can work on that. So now we can see drama 209. Good grief. No action. It's all really, really well. Kind of, it's proper all about the script and the characters. No action at all. People are moving very carefully. Nobody even slams a door. Uh, visuals are a bit limited as well, but drama is just absolutely through the roof. That's colossal. Okay, right. Speed time on. Want to get this kind of whole thing done. Difficult decision, making a deal. Okay, so we're coming up to the end of the editing. It's ready to go. Okay, it's going in the right direction. 
Three and a half million people. Okay, we get some money for that. That's really good. Okay, final, hang on, finalise the episode. Right, okay, so episode three has gone out. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. And uh, Dave Wee Hours has levelled up. Okay, you can pick a trait. Um, what shall we give you? What shall we give you? Maybe, I oh know, Witty isn't important for what we're doing now. Um, perceptive. Maybe he could be perceptive, possibly. Uh, wise, sceptical, not so bothered about that, capricious. This is moving their kind of character stats around a bit. So that could help, I suppose, make them befit the character a bit more. Maybe we could try and make, yeah, chaotic, maybe moving toward more lawful. How would we do that? How would you move a point toward lawful? Hang on, whereabouts is that in the, here? Cautious. So move character stats one point toward lawful. So it'd move you from chaotic into that kind of more preferred sort of shaded area there. Do you know what? Let's do that, shall we? Yeah, do that. So now you've nudged your way over to there. You've got a kind of hard hat thing on now. Okay, this is good. This is good. I'm enjoying this. And I think what we should do is, now do we want to get an extra, let's get some extra crew. That might help. We can have three crew members. So now let's go and, yeah, let's go and grab ourselves an extra, ooh. <gasps> We can have fancier crew people. Is that because we've leveled up our studio? Okay, yeah, hang on. Level two search, because, you know, we might as well. Teamwork C. Okay, right, we've got somebody with a C grade, although the rest of their stats are pretty rubbishy. E and E plus. Oh no, oh no. But Annabelle White seems to be better overall, I would say. Technical and teamwork. Now, so yeah, look, technical and team, we're really struggling. If we get you, technical is still E. Unless we then hire another person. They hardly require any wage, actually. Do you know what? We'll get you in because you've got a C in teamwork. But then can we get somebody in who's good at... Yeah, you're quite good. Marcus Long. Technical. You've got technical and teamwork. So that's the first two. Uh, and that's... Yeah, we need somebody with a decent grade in technical, please. That would be helpful. Um, I mean, yeah, there... Technical and work rate. Wage is sick. John, we can afford that. Yes, absolutely. In we go with three crew people. Um, don't need another editor. Don't need another director. They seem to require quite a bit of money. Writers. Do we get a third writer? Just to make sure the scripts we're making are really good. How about yes? Let's do... Got to be careful of the money. A level two search. Um, okay. Hang on. So there's one person. Dialogue. C. Okay, Chloe Harris. <gasps> Aleth Collins. You've got yes. Okay, it's gonna be you, isn't it? Yep, there you go. In you come. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, we can have many actors. Maybe then do we get another actor? Do we get another supporting actor? Because I think, yeah, we can have two of each. Let's get another person. Let's create another character. We shall have another support person. And um I don't know. How about we call them? Uh, I'm not sure. We'll call them Rob, Rob, Rob the Guard. Let's call them Rob, Rob the, Rob the Guard. Rob the Guard, obviously from uh, Tavern Master from some time ago on the channel, but also maybe they could be security at the hospital. That could be quite fun, couldn't it? Um, and they could be like the wise guard that, yeah, they go outside and have a chat with. Maybe when they're going outside for a break. Yes. Create and cast Rob the Guard, level one search. Okay, 68%, 57%, 40%, 80 87%. Lauren Kim, you meet the requirements very well. You can come in because you seem perfect. Yeah, look at that. You're just a little bit off quirky, a little bit off diligent, but everything else in target. Yeah, okay, we shall have you. Uh, right, what hat shall we give you? Uh, how about you wear, because you're a guard, you can wear a centurion's hat because that will keep your head safe from any potential people trying to hit you. Um, hair we can't see anyway. Face items, leave it as one. I think it's an earring, isn't it? Um, body. Okay, so you need to have some sort of like, um, like guard type gear or whatever. Uh, yeah, how about that? That looks fun. <laughs> that looks okay. Yes, you some sort of, uh, yeah, like that. That is that what guards would wear? You've got like knee protection. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Yes, okay, perfect. And shoes, uh, you can have, I don't know, those shoes. Right, there you go. Rob the guard has been cast. This is brilliant. Okay, right. Create that episode. Three writers now. 
Okay, so here we go. Got some cooldown on these, but that's okay. So let's start with an argument revisited. That's okay. That's three. Have we got one that's one? We could do with more time. We could do with just getting a few more of those if we can manage that. I don't know. Um, okay, so we've got an argument revis revisited for characters and drama. I mean, wouldn't hurt to have... We don't want this because that's comedy. Um, melee doesn't really work. Okay, new arrival. That could be Rob the Guard, possibly. So Rob the Guard can come in as a new arrival. Then we could have a group discussion. And then we've got one left. We could have a tense meeting because that's three drama points. I kind of feel like we're not doing much in the way of characters and we can't fill that in. Uh, hang on, we're going to press this five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Song of Dragon. Yep, yeah, okay, sounds great. There we go. Right, so main character, yes, assign Betty. Support characters, assign, and now assign Rob the Guard. Okay, yes, we've got more people appearing. This is very exciting. Okay, so how are we doing? Oh, no, they're writing it first, aren't they? Of course they are. Um, in terms of research, can we research that final drama card? And that's complete. We've unlocked the loyalty season theme. Every card played adds one extra drama point. Oh, that's quite good. Okay, so pick a new set. Let's have... Uh, I kind of wanted character with these, but... Okay, we'll have world building. And then in this card set... Ah, okay. So we've got to go through some of these. Okay, interactions one. Sure, we have. Uh, that's going to be 200... 200 of our script points to unlock one of those. Okay, we'll go for world building one and we'll unlock one thing. History lesson. Good. Nice. Three plot points. Okay, now that's fine. Right. Let's move time on nice and quick. Let's get this script written for Song of Dragon. It sounds like it's a Game of Thrones thing, but nope, it isn't. Right. Pause time. Because when the screen pops up, time doesn't pause. So we've got Lucas Moore directing. Okay, we've got three crew on it now, so that should be pretty good. Okay, so go through here. And of course, three cast members. We can see what's happening. Oh, the character points are pouring in. The drama points are pouring in. Can we get a two-star review for Song of Dragon? Hang on, pause time. Right, Michael Alvarez can do some editing. Um, Graham Mendoza has leveled up doing a spot of acting. Do we do anything with that? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. Leveling up improves a staff member's abilities in line with their job class. Oh, hang on. Who Who's Gray Mendoza playing? Uh, hang on. This, uh, you're, that's Betty. Oh, so Betty's become better at delivering her lines. Okay, that's good. That's good. Right, now the editing is going on. Some more points are coming. There was some more plot going in. Song of Dragon is almost done. Okay, two stars. That's really good. And we've got loads in character points. Okay, show interest is creeping up. Now 5.2 million viewers. Okay, right. It's all kind of working. I feel like we need another episode, really. Hang on, hang on. Pause time. I've got 201 script points. Is it worth grabbing oh, an interactions one or a world building one? The interactions one is more expensive, which implies it should be better. Do you know what? Let's do that, shall we? Ah, that's quite good. Yeah, three character points. That's what we want. Okay, we might as well make the next episode. Writers, get writing. Writers, assemble. Um, okay, we did unlock that loyalty one. We can't, we can't buy it now because we've burned through all of our script points. Okay, never mind. Uh, right, slot one. Let's have fiery exchange. Let's open up with a bit of a row. And the fiery exchange can go to making a deal because that's got quite good things in and then we can go to anxieties laid bare and then we can go to friendly chat and then we can go to difficult decision they're all the things we want and it adds up in the right time okay that's really good right hang on one two three four five our water yep okay it's a fire exchange with the quality of water at the hospital that's it um oh hang on we have more cards over there Okay, must remember next time to go and look at the other cards, but this is fine for now. Uh, yeah, okay, confirm that, assign the characters, yep, and yep. Do we get another main character at some point soon? Okay, right, so complete that. You write that, please. Lots of character points pouring in. 
Yeah, we need to get some money in soon, folks, because we're paying people wages and such. Oh, hang on, pause time. Um, oh, hang on, Matthew Johnson's leveled up. Right, so put the three crew people onto it. Matthew Johnson has leveled up. That's not who I was expecting, but okay, that's fine. Right, get this moving on. So let's see how this is looking. There's quite a lot of plot coming through in this one. Move time on nice and fast. Just get all this to look at them. They're doing some wonderful acting going on. There's, there's an awful lot of plot happening in this episode. Right, there we go. You can do some editing. So I would like to, if we get enough money, I'd like to improve the editing station. Oscar Watson has leveled up. It's not taking us to the person who it is, but um, Oscar Watson is uh, plays We Hours Dave. Okay, <laughs> that's good. That's fun. Right, so let's get the editing done. I think that's almost complete. Okay. So plot, we've set a new limit for the plot points. Back down a bit, but show interest creeping up, which is good. Reviews are becoming a bit more positive. There's a bit more fame happening for the people. The characters are becoming more known. The story is becoming a bit more known as well. Getting some more interest from the story arcs and what have you. Okay, rewards. Do we get anything nice? Do we get any more money for this? I don't think we do, do we? 175 money bother okay right that's fine um okay hang on a minute rob the guard has leveled up the character of rob the guard has leveled up um i mean do we make rob the guard more quirky that would be quite good because that puts him more into the yeah there you go let's make rob the guard creative to move him more toward quirky that's fine the studio levels up we can have more staff searching happening more casting more crew cab and whoever that was has leveled up as well um yeah, okay, right, let's fly through again. Hang on, no, 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 no. I need to create another episode first. That's what we have to do. So like that. Uh, yes, because money is running out. We've got to do this quite quickly, I think. Bear in mind, we have got these. So let's maybe go for history lesson. So we can look back, maybe look back at some historical event or something, and then a reunion. And then we can have, I mean, these aren't all ideal, I'll be honest. We'll have a group discussion got four time things left we could have travel sequence actually hang on hang on do travel sequence and then have group discussion like that and then slot five will have to just remain empty for a bit sorry slot five um and hang on a minute one two three four five losing legend okay right we know who we're doing with this so yep you two can come in wonderful right complete that get writing please folks okay they finished writing the script somebody's leveled up that's quite encouraging okay so any one director it would be quite good if we could hire another one of those possibly that might be quite good we'll pick all the different crew members um yeah tristan scott leveled up doesn't take us to who that is but okay that's fine and losing legend look at all the numbers totaling up character points going in plot so much plot happening. All the plot is going on. That's very good. Right. Put the editor to work on it. We could do with upgrading the editor's computer setup thing. That would help things a bit at the end, wouldn't it? But here we go. And the last scene or last non-scene is being done. It's, yeah, it, we've got some action going on. Don't really need action. Back down to one and a half stars. Views are coming down. But, yeah, that's ticking up okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Visuals and comedy. We've excelled there. Not so bothered about the comedy, but the visuals is okay. Some nice moody shots of the hospital or whatever. And some flashy lights, Nino machines coming in. Okay, so that's all good. So hang on, pause time for a second. Pause time. Do you want to research any more of these? We've got 255 script points. Do we research one of these? Or do we keep that for doing one of the um, sort of... Uh, what are they? The things that pop up, like these sort of uh, series-wide legacy thingamajigs. Do we keep it for that or do we buy ourselves some fancy new cards? Do you know what? I think we'll save our script points and get some of those kind of season theme thingamajigs. Let's do that, shall we? So here we go. We need to create a new episode. Do we want to replace any writers? Do we want to say get rid of any of these and replace them with other ones? Actually, hang on. Hang on. Do we want to get ourselves another director now? Maybe two of those because we can have two. Do we want another director as well? Are we going to bankrupt ourselves with wages? Um, do you know what? Another director. Let's get another director. Oh, we can get a fancy one. 
we can get a fancy director who's got a C grade in something, or possibly not. Okay, <laughs> that didn't work entirely according to plan. Uh, they do want quite a lot of money. Hang on, Lucas Moore only wants 18 wage. Antonio Ortiz here wants 33. You're not that much better than the other chappy. Okay, no, that's ridiculous. But you, you only want 12. You're quite good, actually. Hang on, we need somebody with vision. You've got D plus in vision. Um, oh, but you've got Ds all round. Okay, do you know what? Yes, we shall go for you. Stephen Jackson. Okay, 17 wage. Okay, there we go. So I think for now, for whatever episode we're on, we'll, um, yeah, we'll go for that. So complete that. Um, right, got lots and lots of lovely options again now. So how about, have we got one that gave us, yeah, what does that do? That is, oh, that's using these things. That's using these. Ah, I see. Right, so that little kind of um, star token there is one of our personal tokens, is it? So we've got romance tokens, mystery tokens, conflict tokens, world building tokens, and personal tokens. Okay, so we've used one of the personal tokens, but we've used three mystery ones. Oh, crikeys. Um, okay, they're both on cooldown. Okay, so again, focus on these two things. Let's get... A uh, difficult decision, then we'll get, I mean, a fiery exchange will be quite good. So a difficult decision that leads to a fiery exchange that maybe then calms down to go to a friendly chat. Then we need two twos, I would say. So can we have, um, how about we have, which one should we go for? Anxiety delay, bear, and a new arrival. That's quite good for the things that we want to focus on. So yes, please. Okay, we shall have that. We shall assign you... And we'll assign the two support characters, Dave we hours and Rob the Guard, alongside Betty Cupboard. I think as well, next time, we might want to introduce another main character. I've got an idea, but okay. Right, so they then need to get script writing. So already these are piling in. A little bit of comedy just kind of sprinkled in there. No visuals, no action. I guess it's hard to write the visuals. Um, right, two. Oh, hang on. We can't pick two direct. Oh, there's only one director that can direct at a time. Okay. Stephen Jackson will give you a chance because you are better at vision, same at story, maybe not quite as good at collab, whatever collab is, collaborative efforts and work rate, I think that is, but only slightly less. So we'll give you a go. There we go. And then we'll get the three crew on board. Right, complete that. So now filming is happening. I wouldn't change the name of the episode. Do you know what? Hold days is fine. That's okay. Right, so all these people contributing toward the score. It's looking very good in terms of drama. Got many drama points. Right, we shall have you as an editor. We're on minus 52 money. We could do with earning some money very soon, please. <laughs> Can we get so hang on. You've leveled up. That doesn't take us to you, but okay. Um, here we go. I'm ah, episode seven. I was gonna say, what episode are we on? Because I'm determined to just get an entire series of Project Hospital complete. Show interest, 173. It's moving away from obscure and more into niche. I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that. Six million, almost seven million people watched, but we only got the basic 175 money from the multicolor goose. Um, how are we supposed to, what are we supposed to do? How do we get the extra money from the multicolor goose? I can't recall where that was. Um, can we find out what our contract was? I don't think we can. Okay. So that's done. So almost 7 million viewers went for that one. That's quite good. Oh, Betty's leveled up. Betty gets a new trait. This is very good. Do we move her toward more of these things here? Or do we do something which gives us a bit of a boost? I mean, yeah, Mysterious. Uh, increased chance to gain popularity by 10%. Reduce XP gain by 50%. Okay, that's okay. Uh, brave. Maybe not smart. That would befit the character, increase XP gain by 15%, but the character's only going to be around for, what, three more episodes? Um, I don't think they're cruel, loyal, honest. Leader, increase other characters' XP gain. Oh, no, perceptive. Add three character points to any script when they appear in an episode. Yeah, okay, you can be perceptive, Betty Cupboard. Fictional character, Betty Cupboard. Um, okay, right, so hang on. Now we've got a massive pile of script points. Did we miss the chance to add that thing on last time? Hang on. Let's go to research then. Let's get another world... Hang on, we could spend 250 of them. Get another interactions card. Oh, that's really good. 
four character points and get another world building card. Um, a lore dump. So a lovely lore dump for two of the world building coin things, but it's four plot points. Okay, right, create an episode. You three get on it, please. Um, yeah, how could we pick a theme? Why don't we get to pick the themes anymore? Or is that is that a thing that's now gone? Because it's so later. Oh no, it said at the start it was only in episodes one, two, three, and five, wasn't it? It was in episodes one, two, three, and five. Um, okay, we might as well go and get another one of these then. Let's get another world building card. Environmental storytelling. Okay, very fancy. Right, now we can create an episode with you three. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Silent Sentinel. Okay, that seems fine. Right, let's get then. Hang on. So first meeting. That's really good. We'll have that. And then is, have we got a one? No. The only thing is that's three things. So I want to make sure we max out what we've got. Um, okay, so first meeting. Making a deal. That could be quite good. That's plot and characters and drama. Um, tense meeting. Oh, no. But that's three drama points. But then we're going to completely annihilate our time frame. Um, how about... A lore dump for a massive load of plot. That could be quite good. And then group discussion. That's a... Hang on. Hang on. If we've only got one thing left, we might as well go for an argument revisited because that's two characters and two drama points. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll go for that. That's fine. Uh, yes, okay. Silent Sentinel. Right, let's get that done. Yeah, indeed. Right, the characters are all fine. So, yep, assign and assign. Complete that. Right. Get writing, you lot. Please get writing. And then before the next one, so Silent Sentinel is episode eight. So we're going to finish have the penultimate episode with a bit of a revelation. Oh, I don't, that, that, that should put time should pause when it pops up these screens. Um, OK, yep, yeah, there we go. Right. Unpause time. You've leveled up. Whoever you were, don't know who it was, but hooray, somebody leveled up. Right. So now the actual acting is happening. On the one set we have. <laughs> That's fine. We're on minus 63 money. Hopefully this can be our massive breakthrough and it can be a sensation. Okay. Uh, yep. You can do some editing. Daniela Rogers has leveled up. Right. Come on. Let's get some good editing going on here. Want characters and drama, please. Lots of that. That was plot. That's more plot. Can we have characters and drama, please? It's a drama show. All of that. Um, okay. Hang on a minute. Pause time. It's two stars. We get paid some money. 7.6 million viewers. Loads of plot, loads of action. Weirdly enough, but okay, fine. Um, we're on 112 money. So now I think what we do is, uh, we're, we're struggling for cash a little bit, but that's okay. That's fine. Because what I think we do now is, I think we hire another main character. Oh, hang on. You've leveled up. Dave, we ours has leveled up. Okay, this is good. This is good. Um, Let's make Dave we ours. Um, I don't know. What can we make you do? Uh, hang on. Cryptic? Uh, arrogant? Chance to Increase chance to lose popularity by 10%. Increase XP gain. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. That's a terrible idea. Um, witty? We can make him witty or inquisitive. What are the other ones? Wise? Increase persona points earned by 20%. When appearing in an episode. I see that as more Rob the Guard's position in this series. How about we move you toward more personable? How do we do that? Hang on. Kind. Let's make you kind. Because maybe at this point in the series, he's had a bit of a revelation. And he's no longer being quite as antagonistic toward Betty. He's being more kind. Maybe that could be part of a character arc or something. Yeah, we'll go for that, please. Make you more sort of personable. I mean, casting rating 93%. It's almost perfect. But um, yeah, I think, I think we go to characters. I think we now introduce a new main character. And I think we all know who this is going to be. Hang on. So who would be the perfect foil for Betty but Bernard Cupboard? Maybe her husband could just turn up and he could be... Oh, what do we go for here? What do we go for? Um, not a villain. Oh, hang on. Pause, pause time game. Stop it. We're paying wages to people for doing nothing. Um, maybe he could come in and be a bit of a Joker character. He could come in and be a bit of a Wally and a bit of a, yeah, somebody has a bit of a laugh, but that doesn't go well with Betty's kind of, you know, sort of very genius, stern, kind of uh, quirky, diligent ways. Let's go for that. 
let's go for that. Right, create and cast level two search. Yes. Um, hang on, don't we get to... I thought we got to design the person. I thought we got to design what the person looked like. Maybe we don't do that quite yet. Um, okay, so hang on a second. So you've got 87, you're quite good. 88%, 82, 58, 82. Right, who is the 88% match person? You. Sadie Robinson, you can come in and play Bernard Cupboard. You're lacking the disagreeableness of it, but that's kind of it. Everything else, you're ticking all the boxes. Um, yeah, okay, do you know what? Yes, why not? That'll do. Oh, here's where we get to design them. Right, what kind of hat would you like? I think you can have... We'll give you... Uh, yeah, baseball hat. Let's give you that one. That baseball hat. Um, you can also have an item... You can have a big old backpack for no reason. Um, let's give you some boots, like boot type things. And body wise, what can you wear? What does that do? Well, that just turns them around. Okay. Um, body wise, you can wear I'd quite, just look cash. Just look kind of casual. Like, uh, yeah, just, that'll do. Hang on, shorts. There we go. Like that. Like you're going on a hike or something. That's fine. Um, and I don't know what those face items are. They're different types of earring, I think. That's very hard to see. Uh, yeah, okay, that'll do. That's fine. And then create an episode. You three. Uh, right, so hang on. One, two, three, four, five. North Squad. Okay, I don't know what that's about, but okay. Um, right, we want all the characters and all the drama that we can cram into this. Reunion. It's perfect. It's perfect. Because a husband comes back in and it's a bit of a reunion. Maybe she doesn't like it, but it's there. Okay, so reunion. Then maybe anxiety's laid bare because she's worried about, about Bernard coming back. Then there's a difficult decision to make about Bernard. Then they can have a little chat about it. And then we've got... Oh, now, do we go for friendly chat for two, two character points? Yeah, we're going to really build up the characters in this one. It's a very heavily character-driven episode. Yeah, okay, that's wonderful. Um, so yes, we'll assign Betty Cupboard into it. But also, we've got Bernard Cupboard, Sadie Robinson, and then we've got, uh, yeah, Dave Wee Hours as a supporting person. And of course, Rob the Guard as well. <laughs> this is very silly. I want to watch Project Hospital. I want to watch it. Right, okay, so here we go. Hang on a second, let's get that up. So they're doing the writing. The character score is going to be absolutely amazing. Right, get um, let's get you directing it again. Let's get you directing it. You three can do the crew work. That's all good. Right, so the filming is happening. We've zoomed in quite a lot there, but okay. I didn't realize you could zoom in quite that much. Okay, it's good. Look at that. They're doing all sorts of exciting things. There's four people on set now. It's wonderful. Right, North Squad. Episode 9 out of 10 for this series. Right, okay, you can do some editing. Now, I would I would upgrade your setup, but unfortunately, we haven't got any money to do that. So, in fact, we're crashing quite heavily into debt right now. <laughs> Never mind. Um, okay, so two stars, again, which is okay. We get paid the money, which is going to get us just so slightly out of debt for a while. We maxed out on characters, but our show has moved from obscure into niche category. That's quite good. That's quite good. So no longer is it a thing that people go, what? People are going to go, oh yeah, I've heard of Project Hospital. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? Yeah, it's okay. Um, look at that. The story went up loads there. Many story points. I'm not quite sure why we're not getting all the payments. Do we get a thousand at the end of the, se at the, end of the season or something? I'm not quite sure. Um, okay, look at that. 199 character points. That was very good. Right, pause time for a second got 336 script points why don't we grab the final two world building things let's get those although interactions was quite good because that's given us loads of character stuff do you know what let's get interactions trading stories okay that's quite good that's another three character points um we're not going to use the script points for anything else so let's just get the final two of those that's good that's drama it's, oh, it's about a sword, a sword in the stone. And the final one, um, yeah, reminiscence. Okay, that's quite good. Complete that. We got the war season theme. Okay, every card with action points played has a 33% chance to increase the show popularity by one. Not quite appropriate for Project Hospital, 
we kind of see maybe the after effects of the war side of things. But okay, um, pick card set. What do we go for now? Comedy, action, interactions, one is down here. Or world building, two. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What would we do next? Possibly make a fun sitcom or something. I don't know. Comedy. We'll go for that one. Um, and here we go. Let's do the very final episode of season one of Project Hospital. Here we go. So uh, hang on a minute. We'll do this five times. So one, two, three, four, five. Hold Mantra is the final episode name. Okay, so we want this to be pretty good. So Fiery Exchange is good, but it does use three of our things. And we haven't got a one to kind of um, counteract that with, unfortunately. It uses too much time. So we could have Reminiscence, because that's quite good. We'll take that. Um, and then we can have making a deal because that's characters and drama and plot. We can have new arrival because that's characters, drama and plot as well. And then, ah, right, okay, we are stuck. Now what's over here? So we could either go for history lesson for a big pile of plot and then acute observation for a tiny dose of comedy to finish the runoff and possibly a bit of character or we just pick something else. Do we go for, say, tense meeting? Uh, that would add three drama points and one plot point. That might be better. Or that's two plot and two drama. Um, or that's three character. We haven't got much in the way of drama, though. It's a very undramatic thing. How about the series finishes on a fiery exchange and it could leave it on a bit of a, a bit of a cliffhanger? I like the sound of that. Yes, we will go for that. Thank you very much. Hold mantra. Please write us an amazing thing, writer people. We want this to be amazing. Um, just check we can't do anything. No. Okay. Right. So confirm that. And the main characters, we shall have Betty covered. We shall, of course, have Bernard covered. Those two can have a bit of conflict going on. And then we'll have Dave, we ours. And we'll have Rob, the guard. Okay. Complete this. Right get writing here we got the studios leveled up writer's room level two unlocked i don't even think yeah we haven't got a staff room yet look i don't quite know how we buy the staff room hang on show overview that's oh that's all of the ah that's the overview of the the uh, season so far of project hospital how do we buy uh financial is yeah you're running out of money because it's quite bad uh, that, that's fine. It's okay. I don't know how we upgrade. This room is currently unable to... Ah, hair and makeup room. Oh, there's so many other rooms. Dressing room one. Dressing room two. Dressing room three. Shared dressing room, shared dressing room. Staff room. I thought we could buy a staff room. I thought it said staff room unlocked. But I don't know how to do this. I don't know how we unlock that. Maybe it's not part of the game right now. Because it is only early access. Maybe that's not quite in the game. Okay, right. Writer squad, write some amazing stuff, please. We want this to be tip-top writing. We want a dramatic finale and everything. Um, I mean, hang on. What do we do with this? Do we keep Stephen Jackson on board? Or do we get Lucas Moore back in? you got a bit more fame. You're a bit better at collab and work. But Vision is not as good. I think we get Stephen Jackson to finish it off. Uh, you three are absolutely fine. You can work on the thing. Okay, here we go. The final episode of Project Hospital is underway. What drama is going to happen? What's going to happen between Betty and Bernard? Are they going to get back together? Are there going to be revelations? Who knows what's going to happen? Here we go. How is it looking? It's looking very good in terms of plot. Okay, complete that. Our money is woefully terrible right now. Come on, quickly, edit this thing together. <laughs> really quickly, because we need to get some money. Characters ticking up, drama ticking up. Add three more drama points. Go on, go on. I dare you, add three more drama points just before it finishes. Just put a dramatic close-up of someone's face as they go, <gasps> or something going, dun, dun, dun. Now, we didn't quite get that. We maxed out plot, though. We've not had that much plot before. No comedy at all very straight face this one and nine million people watch this nine million and eighty thousand people watch the dramatic finale of project hospital although we did lose a point in characters we did lose a point of characters i don't know who that could have been I mean, all the characters are amazing but okay continue that 
Okay, here we go. So now we can continue. Hang on, pause time. Hello, multicolored angry goose. Uh, they want to offer you the following contract for the show. Okay, so then it's another thing. So season payment at ah, 750 is what we'd get for taking that on. And then we get 175 for each one. Uh, bonus payment, 40 for every 1 million viewers. So when do we get, when do we get this? We didn't receive that, did we, at the end of every one? Because we should have had loads of money. We should have had much in the way of extra money. Did those bonus payments pay out? Bonus payment for every half star of average review, 20 money. So we should have got, we should have got quite a lot of stuff, I would have thought. And for every two star and above average review. I mean, we got, oh, most of ours were two stars, but I don't remember getting 75 money each time. Hang on, can we click financial and check? Can we check? Month. Um, okay, revenue. Season payments, 750. Episode payments, 1,750. That makes sense, because there are 10 of those, and we get 175 each. So that's where we got paid. No bonus payments, and no miscellaneous payments. Hang on a minute. Hang on. But didn't, oh, I've lost the... Where's the contract gone from the goose people? <laughs> goose people. Oh, Rob the Guard leveled up. Okay, we can level up Rob the Guard. This is fun. Um, let's make Rob the Guard more diligent. And that will be the most perfect piece of casting ever. So yeah, okay, you can become more practical, please. 100%. Rob the Guard's character is the most perfect character in all of television history. And we shall hear no more about it. No arguments, please. Um, okay. But how do I now get back to... How do I get back to that contract bit? Because I kind of feel like that's going to be... Ah, up here! Yeah, we should have got... We should have got bonus payments. And we should have got... Yeah, for every 1 million viewers, we should have been given that money. Because one of that, that last one had 8 million viewers or whatever it was. Hang on, show overview. Can we see how many viewers there were? No, we cannot, unless we click on it. Ah, there we go. 9 million viewers that had. So we should have had... Hang on, where's the contract? So nine times, oh crikey, hang on, bonus payment for 1,040,000, nine times 40, maths with pension, 980, 360 extra money from the angry multicolored rainbow goose people, but they didn't pay out those bonus payments. Um, okay, maybe that's not properly integrated in this version of the game yet. They didn't pay out. That should have paid out. Every half star of average review, that should have given us a little tiny bit of money. And then occasionally, we did get two stars and above as well. I think we sort of did muddle through. Yeah, look, that's a two star. Average review. So we should have got something there as well. But I don't think we did. Yeah, all time, we got no bonus payments. Which I think is why we're so low on money. When we should have done. I mean, yeah, we're paying a lot in wage. We pay a lot in wage. But of course, those bonus payments not paying out meant we couldn't upgrade other things. We couldn't upgrade yeah, the boom mic and there's a keyboard in there and the fancy drinks table and everything else. So I think if they'd have paid out, we could have done a bit more. Um, do you know what? To finish things off, yeah, do you know what? We'll sign with the Golden Goose people again. It's fine. Oh, okay. They've paid us a bit of money. I know that's okay. That's the regular money that we get for beginning a new kind of series with them. Okay, now that's fine. So uh, yeah, there we go. We've signed a new contract. I mean, would we do Project Hospital again? Would we do a brand new series? I do not know. And with that done, I think we will wrap things up for now with our little look at Showrunner. I think we've had a good look at the game to see what it's about and how it works. I think now we've done one kind of series, we get the idea of how the game would kind of go in the future. We'd make another series. We'd unlock more things. We'd be able to get some proper money, hopefully. When that's sorted out, that'd be quite handy. If we could get paid properly, that would be useful. And we'd go about upgrading the studio, adding extra rooms, getting better quality writers and actors and staff and all that kind of stuff. And eventually our production quality would increase and we'd end up doing a lot of exciting things. And we'd probably in time make a really wonderful TV show. Not that I'm saying Project Hospital isn't an absolute masterpiece. Of course it is. But we'd be able to make something a little bit better, a slightly more polished production, perhaps, if we could upgrade things. But uh, yeah, it wasn't to be this time round because we didn't get paid the bonus money. But never mind, never mind. It's all fine. Yeah, I kind of like games like this. Just kind of laid back games where you assign points to things. But this is a little bit more than that. It's a little bit more than that. So yeah, there's a few games like that, um, like Game Dev Tycoon or that kind of stuff, where you just have your people with your various talents and you assign points to certain things. You kind of go, okay, I want this game to have, you know, a lot of whatever, a lot of graphics and a lot of sound. This is similar to that, but there's a little bit more going on. 
there's kind of different kind of uh, card things you deploy to do your script writing and there's different themes you can have throughout the series and all that kind of stuff and I think that does make it a little bit different it makes it a little bit different to other games that are similar in kind of nature to this I would say but, uh, but yeah I've had a thoroughly fun time I like that I like making Project Hospital the TV series and introducing our characters and just seeing what we could do and you know occasionally in some of the episodes we could go through and try and make a little story out of it with the different kind of you know writing card things that popped up so yeah it's quite fun I like that if you want to do that you can build yourself a little kind of narrative in your own world if you want to which is always quite fun but there we go I think yeah we have seen quite a lot of it we know how it would go playing forward and I think we'll finish things up for now hopefully you have enjoyed this if you have please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the geek cupboard but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and I will see you next time. There we go, the king and kettle. It's this, it's Rob the God. Rob the God, he's a hero. He is Rob the God. He's got a feather in his cap. He's got a beard. This could be the planty room. <laughs> we could have so many plants. Hang on. <laughs> I feel like there's a book here to be written. We've got the executioner and the nun. <laughs>